So this is a short video showing what the Gravity Forms CSS Themes plugin can do. We start backwards, so this is how uh, your uh, Gravity Forms uh, form can look like. And let's go backwards and, and uh, uh, look at uh, the back end of the plugin. And now let's go to the form settings where we can select the themes that we want to use simply change the theme and simply change the look of the plugin as you see now we have seven themes and it's uh, gonna grow shortly uh, with new updates new themes are gonna come uh, for now uh, you can select one of the seven themes that you can uh, change uh, can change borders colors uh, for every team you can change something else uh, the idea is not to change every single aspect of the form but to change basic coloring so that uh, you can um, adjust the form to, to suit your your own website let's say let's change the colors here to something like light gray almost white and view the changes on the form so this is how you can change colors to your liking be a bit more gray here now when you make these changes and you want to go back at any time you can just reset the the theme to its default values and now let's look at uh, look at the font awesome support which are these little uh, icons here so uh, you go to your form and uh, in the labels in the advanced sections you can you can change what these are so let's change the lock for a user and uh, most of the input sections plus the text areas have the font awesome support now let's take a look at uh, uh, the, the placeholders which is the full width of the of the form uh, if we just turn it off and we don't use placeholders we get the default uh, gravity forms uh, fields that we can further adjust in in, uh, in the gravity forms so let's just left align this and let's put it back to uh, to the placeholders so uh, as I said in future you can expect that new themes are gonna come up and uh, you know we're gonna debug this and make sure that uh, we do a lot of cool stuff with this